wow, the giant announcement for RTX 3000 is coming really soon. And honestly, we didn't even know much about it. My original theory, which I talk about in this video, which I highly recommend you check out, about them celebrating the GeForce 256 because of the original GeForce 256 announcement back on the 31st of August 99. Yeah, that's not happening anymore because apparently it's happening the day after on the 1st of September. So sadly, that theory is kind of like out the window. But today I'll be going over my, let's say, final predictions for this event. Unless any more leaks or rumors, anything appear in the next few days, this is what I'm sticking to. I'm gonna play bingo on that night. I'm gonna see how many of these I can get right. So we know that they are going to announce the RDX 3000 cards there, but what kind of cards are they even gonna show? Well, I've compiled a list of what I believe are the most likely options. The main thing I was kind of like thinking over constantly, even before I started recording this very video, is the RTX 3090. I was just constantly fighting with myself over whether or not I think it actually will exist. And in the end, I think it will. And I think it's going to be this little stepping stone in between the 3080 Ti and the Titan RTX 2, or whatever they're going to call it. Basically, a like a prosumer grade card for people who don't want to go all the way to a Titan. Because the RTX Titan was expensive enough, and many people could use that kind of performance, or maybe just a tad less VRAM for their work and don't have that much money to spare. So I do, in the end, believe it does exist. And actually, they're going to mainly focus on that and the 30 ETI, but I believe they may also show some things about exactly how powerful the new Titan will be. I believe it is going to still rock 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Maybe it'll go to, say, 26, but I do think they may also speed up uh, change up to HVM2 memory. I can see this happening and I believe that if a 1390 exists that the Titan will be a bit more expensive because there will better more people just trying to go for the 1390 because it's more of this like in-between territory. So the Titan will be just for the people who really have the money and really need that performance. So I believe it's going to cost them around $2,600 for the Titan RTX 2 or whatever it's called. Then for the RTX 3090, which will probably have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which I explained in this video, but I believe that's going to cost around $1,400. So a tad more expensive than the 2080 Ti, and I say that because I believe that the 3080 Ti will cost the same as the 2080 Ti. So around, what, $1,200 or so? And I believe that because I think Nvidia wants to prevent the problem they had before, where people were just buying a 10 Ti because it was such a great deal, and they didn't even want to go for a flagship of the new Turing based graphics card. So I believe they want to avoid that, and they just want to price check, you know, the 2080 Ti. Then for the 3080, I also believe that they're going to stick to a similar price of $800 to so the 2080 Super. Probably most likely going to stick to 8 gigabytes of VRAM, but I can see them increasing at least slightly to maybe around 9 gigabytes or 10 and I could probably see the 3080i going up by at least one or two gigabytes as well. The 3070 I believe is definitely going to stay at 8 gigabytes of VRAM and also is going to cost around the same. So what around $500? The same for the 3060, which will also have 8GB of VRAM, it's going to cost around $400, the same as the 2060 Super. However, I believe there's going to be another card, a 3050, or a 3050 Ti, depending on what they want to call it. And that card made no sense for the Turing era, because ray tracing performance wasn't really up there for, to make such a budget card that has ray tracing. But now I believe they can make this Ampere-based graphics card that has the performance of around, you know, a 2060-2060 Super, preferably a 2060 Super, for around what? $350 to $300, maybe even $300, just make this really good budget deal that could probably even challenge some of the more budget offerings in the 16 series of graphics cards. So those are some of my main predictions. Let me know what you think is going to come in this new presentation that I'm doing soon. I'm really excited. I'll probably be live streaming it on this channel, so subscribe so you don't miss a live stream. It's going to be awesome. I'll be giving all my like live commentary and everything. It's going to be a really cool night, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. And also, hey, while you're here, maybe help this channel out on Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. And one dollar a month goes a long way. And also, maybe check out my Discord where you can talk to me about this or whatever else, any theories you have for this launch. But anyway, I guess that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, don't subscribe, like whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.